Okay, so here, again, I had you Google, um, so go to a Google tab, and just Google Pepsi bottle. Once you Google Pepsi bottle, you're going to go to the images tab, not all, but images, and we're going to look at these images. Oh, and why did I just come up with a different image on this search than I did the first search? I don't know. They came up with a new one here. Weird. Anyway, um, so when you Google this, let's look at the different bottles. So here they're showing a two liter bottle. That was kind of a boring, plain bottle. We're not going to do it. And then we have these two different bottles that are shown here. Now, from our trip to R&D, I like to pull things in like this when I can. From our trip to R&D, this is the new bottle. This is kind of the older style bottle. Why Why did they make these changes, the Pepsi bottle? Anybody think of anything they told us in R&D? What do you got, Gage? It's easier to hold. They told you this part, how your hand wraps around it nicely down this portion. What is another one, Kayla? Yeah. So when your label, when, when your bottle's setting in the rack or in the, uh, the machine, you can actually see the label because it doesn't cover up that part. What's another one you got, Britton? No, nothing about taste. All right, next, Liam. Um, it does look better, a little bit new style. What else you got, Kingston? It's cheaper. Why was it cheaper? What do they say about it being cheaper? The actual label. Yeah. The actual label itself. So the label itself is about half the size as the other label was. It's not much. It might have been a half or a quarter of a cent per bottle. But they're making millions of these every year. I don't know how many bottles of Pepsi they make a year, but it's millions. Um, millions of bottles a year at a quarter of a cent per. It adds up. It actually saves them money. So it's cheaper. Felt your felt fit your hand better. You'd see it in a machine. Um, anything else? What else do you have? What do they just say? They, they did ask all those probing questions, yes, for their focus groups or whatever. But yeah, just all of those things is why I did that. So with all that being said, obviously, what bottle do you think we're going to make? We're going to see the one that we saw designed, and we're going to make this bottle. So what I want you to do is this. Um, and I want to show you this as we go, because I learned something new yesterday I did not know. What I learned yesterday was this. Um, with this image, if I right-click on it here and go down to Save Image As, it tries to save this as a JPEG image, JPEG. Um, I cannot change it to a different type of file type. Um, so I download this. It would be a Pepsi bottle as a JPEG file. Pause and listen. AutoCAD will not recognize a JPEG file. I did not know this. One of my students taught me this yesterday. I was taught something by a student. You can go here and go pep, if I can spell it right, Pepsi bottle dot png and it will actually save it as a png file i did not know it would do that um if you just add the extension onto it it'll save it and you can open it up in autocad if you save it just as pepsi bottle without the png on there you cannot open it in autocad but now here however is another part of this stay focused if you click on this bottle open up the larger picture over here this larger picture already is a png so it will save you that part there. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo, larger picture, you go save as, and it already is a PNG file. I want you to save that to your root AutoCAD directory. So you, you have CAD 1 and 2, save this called Pepsi bottle there. I'm not going to save mine because I already have it. Once you have that saved, go ahead and go to your AutoCAD tab. And on here, what you could do, and some of you may have already done this before in CAD drawings, you could just come to this drawing, you can select it, right click, copy it, and then go to AutoCAD, right click and paste it, and it will put that image in there. The problem with that is, that image is saved to that computer you're working on currently. If you log on to a different computer, it won't be there. If you, um, if they come in and they re-image your computer for whatever reason, get ready to use your profile, it won't be there. So it will be gone. It will not save it. So the proper way of doing that is this. Instead of right-clicking and pasting, you need to go and you need to insert it in. So you go to the Insert tab. Kingston, you get this. Go to the Insert tab. Go to Attach. From Attach, go to where you save that Pepsi bottle to. And Open. And OK. And click and place that Pepsi bottle on the screen. That way now... As long as wherever you're logged in, any computer in the school, if it has AutoCAD and you have access to your P drive, or not P drive, sorry, access to your M drive, your image will load properly. 
we are looking um, for for online or or cloud storage for AutoCAD. We're looking for some good solutions for that. There is not any right now. Once we get that taken care of, you could actually, if you saved it this image to your cloud storage and you opened it up on your laptop, it would come up there also by doing it this way. At this point, we do not have the cloud storage available, so that does not work with AutoCAD, but it is another thing. Yes, with this, does anybody know how big a Pepsi bottle should be? 24 feet tall, no. So what we're gonna do is before we answer that question is we're gonna see how big you actually plopped your bottle in at. So I'm gonna go to my, my dimension area here. It's this section right here is my dimension area. I'm gonna go here, it should be defaulted to the linear dimension here, not the, not the um, automatic dimension, but the linear dimension. And I want you to dimension from this point that I'm gonna show you. Not from the very tip top of the bottle, because that's the cap of it, but from about here. This is about where your bottle would be. So about that position there, you're gonna dimension from there, so you're gonna click there. And you're gonna scroll down. And again, not to the very bottom of the bottle down here, because this is set in a kind of an isometric view, but we're gonna to go to it about right here. So about right here on the side, if you see where my cursor is, about right there, I'm going to click and drag my dimension over here to the side where I can see my dimension. My bottle, I made it 10.9497 inches tall. I don't know if that's the right size or not. Actually, I do because I've looked this up the other hours. But let's pretend like I don't know. So if I didn't know the answer to that, how could I find that answer? The magic Google. So if we go to the Google... And we write in what, or sorry, not what, how tall is a 20 ounce Pepsi bottle? How tall is a 20 ounce Pepsi bottle? Click, enter, and probably not in the images tab anymore, probably your all tab. And let's see what we found. Da, 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 da. This one's a 16 ounce, so that's not good. Um... Skimming this one. Oh, what about this? 20 ounce pasta bottle, 20 ounce bottle, soda, grocery, yada, yada, yada. The Pepsi bottle should be 8.6 inches tall. All right. So, all right. It's okay that it's not close. We're going to learn how to get it close. All right. Focus. Go back to your AutoCAD screen. We're going to bring up a calculator. Calculator. If you don't know how to bring up the calculator, you go over here, you type C-A-L for cal, calculator, and click on your calculator. It'll bring up your calculator. Okay. Once your calculator's up here, what you need to do is take the size you want your bottle to be, which was 8.6 divided by the size that you are. I am 10.6. Nine four nine seven. I don't know what size you are, so you have to type that in yourself and get equals. I get 0.7554. I want you to round this out to the nearest four decimal points. So for me, that would be seven eight five four. Uh uh uh. Where did my recording go? What? One second. I see a hand. But one second. I got to find out why I cannot pause my recording because it is gone. Oh, there it is. So now, we did the math. Mine was point whatever it was. Again, I can't remember. Point seven eight five four was my number I came up when I did math. We're going to go scale. SC for scale. I'm going to select everything and that dimension over there, both. And I'm going to scale mine to that size. I'm going to come down here. I copied and pasted mine, so I'm just going to paste it right into there and hit enter. If I've done everything well, I zoom in on this. Man, I am one ten thousandth of an inch off. I'm one ten thousandth of an inch. That's about one thirtieth the diameter of a hair off. I think I can live with that amount of precision. I think. So with this, um, it should be pretty close to that size. I mean, within a few ten thousandths of an inch is great. Like I say, three thousandths of an inch off. If you go to this decimal point, a human hair is about three thousandths of an inch off. We're at 1 30th of that, or at least I am, and that's just fine. Uh, all right, so now what I want you to do is 
there will be times where, and we don't need that dimension anymore, so we can just erase it out. There will be times where we want this drawing on here and that we don't want the drawing on there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put this drawing on a separate layer. To make that happen, you're going to come up here to your layer control. So come up to this area, click on layer properties. Click on the little sheet of paper that's right here. And that's going to make you a new layer. I'm going to call this new layer a picture. So we're going to make it picture layer. And then just close that out. Now to put the picture on the picture layer, we're just going to select the picture. All right, let me pause here. Now, to put this on the picture layer, you have to select your picture. So let's select it. There we go, it's selected. When you select it, notice it puts you on this image tab over here. And again, when I say notice, you have to look where my mouse is bouncing. And it's over here on the image tab. We got to be on the home tab to put this on the right layer. So we're going to come over here to home, click on it. Notice this is the one we're familiar with or most familiar with. Here's my layers. I'm going to click on it to see my other layers. I'm going to come down here and click on the word picture. By doing that, it's now placed this on the picture layer. If I hit escape, I'm deselected off of everything. I now show I'm on layer zero, but if I come up here and I click on the little sun, notice what happens to my Pepsi bottle. Oh, it's gone. Because I froze it, I turned the sun into a snowflake and it froze and it got rid of it. But now wait, oh, it's back. So we can make it go away and come back just that easily. All right, everybody good there. All right, so next part of this, we're gonna zoom into this and we're gonna trace our bottle. To start off with, up here on the top of our bottle, I'm going to use the line command. My bottle, I don't want to draw it with the cap on just as I measured before. I want to start it down at about this area. So I'm going to start about right here, about the middle of the bottle. It doesn't have to be anywhere exact. We'll get that in a moment. So start about there. Draw a line straight over. And again, not all the way out to the edge of this blue. We're going to come to about here because we're kind of ignoring like the cap's not on there. And we're going to come straight down. Now here, notice how the cap angles a little bit, but the bottle doesn't. So I do want to make sure I'm going straight down. It does get really fuzzy over in this area. So it comes straight down to about there. And it looks about like this. It comes out, if you've ever seen a Pepsi bottle or any bottle like this, it has a little triangular-ish shaped piece that looks about like this. On this one, I am going to make sure I track off of this to make this the same length. I'm going to use my CAD skills. Do a little bit of tracking there and come right down there. So that part of it to there is where I'm going to use straight lines for. So let's pause there just. All right, so now we're going to start drawing a little bit more of this. Um, but however, notice when my cursor is here on the bottle, it's pretty easy to see. When my white cursor is out here in the white, how easy is it to see? Yeah, it's very difficult to see. It actually kind of like it disappears. So with that being said, the lines I draw, if I get out here into the white, you can't see your lines. So what I suggest is changing to where you're not making a white line. I'm, I like magenta. Magenta, it's pink. There's not anything pink on this bottle. Um, and it really makes it so your lines are visible. So now I change my properties over here to magenta on the line color. Now when I draw this next arc that I'm going to draw, I'm going to start it right there on the end of that line. I'm going to draw an arc that comes out here to about the middle of this bottle right there and down to about right there. Now that is a little bit easier to see. Now if your arc's not perfect, like mine is not perfect, click on it and adjust the arc. Grab the grips, maybe pull that one out a little bit, pull this one in a little bit, and adjust your arc to where it takes up the outline of that bottle a little bit better. If you O-snap back to the beginning of the bottle, it's not great. It doesn't work so well. All right, there we go. And obviously, when you zoom in there, it's so pixelated, it's hard to tell where the edge of it is. You just kind of kind of make it the best you can. All right, so there's that art. Next, this next section, if you've already drawn it, make sure you drew it this way. This next section here, starting right here from that point, it has to go straight down. So this point goes straight down, straight down, straight down to right there. It has to be perfectly straight using polar. Otherwise, our next part of it will not work well when we're doing our next part. All right, so right there is what I've got drawn so far to that. I'm going to pause there for a little bit and make sure everybody's good to go so far. All right, for this next little portion of it, 
You don't have to draw this exactly like me, but I tried to do it pretty simply uh, for making the bottle nice. Uh, with